lovely sunny day this morning. It's going to be a hot one though, 34 degrees. This uh, cockatoo, he was sitting outside my window when I was watching TV this morning, watching the news. And the dogs were going mad. And the cockatoo saying, feed me, feed me. <laughs> he just sits right outside my window until I, uh, I give in and then I go and feed him. There's my doggies just having a bit of a, a run this morning, watching the bird. Uh, where's the others? Zoe, oh, you've got your ball. Give it here. Hang on. Whoops. Let me grab it. Okay. Got the ball. Where will we throw the ball? Everyone's excited. Everyone's barking. All right, there it goes. <laughs> Off they go. I've had to put a, um, a sheet over that table and chairs because the cockatoos have been chewing my chairs tops of them. They are quite demanding. They can be a problem. If I ignore them, they come and chew my furniture. All right, who's got the ball now? Where's the ball? Oh, Ella's got the ball. Ella, can I have the ball, please? Thank you, baby. Can I have the ball? Whoops. Someone bring me the ball. Connor. Izzy. Someone bring me the ball. Whoops. Okay, I've got it. All right. Here we go. Ready? Whoops, it's gone down the lower stairs. <laughs> Ella's got it. Good girl, Ella. Thank you, baby. <laughs> All right. That'll be enough fun and games this morning. Let's go back and watch the news. Welcome back. Now, I did those last two uh, burgundies and golds um, just on my little pink spinner. But I'm going to do this one again. You know how I said I'd had too much paint and the middle was kind of scrunching up? So I'm going to do another one. I'm just going to pop a little bit of tape on the bottom of this. I just use masking tape. I guess you could just use, you know, double-sided tape, but I don't have any, so I'm just folding the piece of masking tape over. And hopefully that will be enough just to stop it from going anywhere. Like so. Oh, I'm going to make you all dizzy, aren't I? <laughs> now, I need some gloves. And I will try to put less paint in my puddles. So what did you guys think of my new little dude? Hey? I put the medicine cup on the end there. There is a story behind this, but <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you another day because I'll have to go and get the box. It's in the other room of, of what this actually is. So that's, I'll tell you about him later. Um, pillow paint. Let's put some of that out. And again, I'm going to try not to have too much in the middle. You know how some people say that they get these crevices and cracks with their white? Well, I used to get that, but since I've been spinning, I don't get that. And I think it's because I'm thinning out the white that's in the center. I do think that's the cause of the crevices, it's too much white. I'm going to put a little puddle in, just a little one, um, and then I'm going to put less paint on top, because I need the pillow, because if I had to blow my white without that pillow in the center, it would hit the, um, it would really go down and hit the tile, so I need a bit of a pillow, but let's go for less paint this time. Go with the purple matter again. That's good, I did less paint. I really like the purple matter, so I might even have a little bit less of the other colors. And the red. 
the black. And I, I straightened up my table the other day so it doesn't all go off to the one side anymore. That was a bit of an effort, me trying to hold up this table which is a couple hundred kilos with one hand while I put a little wedge underneath. Now my, my cell activator is two parts Floetrol and one part Amsterdam Titanium White. I'm going to put this on cool and blow down and across. sitting there or coming back into the middle uh, I think that's going to work out really pretty not too much paint uh, but you need you need enough white that you can blow your white sort of over the top um, I mean that hasn't gone right over the edges you can still see that that rim around the outside but that's okay I'm, I'm happy with that um, so yeah this guy he used to be I went and bought him and then as soon as I got him home I pulled him apart. This used to have um, like this pointy thing on the end which is actually attached and then it's got a hairbrush on it. So what you do is while you're brushing your hair or curling it, the hot air is coming out. So that's what it had on it. It was a, um, I don't know what they call them, a air brush, hair dryer brush, I don't know, with the brush attachments. And I got it home and I would snapped it off because I thought I'd be able to get that off. But it was actually stuck in there so I just snapped it off. And then there was a little wire in there because it's a rotating brush so I just snipped the wire off with a pair of scissors. <laughs> oh. So it's got um, cool, I don't know if you can see that. It says C, well it says zero, C, one and two. So I put it on C which is cool so the light doesn't come on and then you go on to hot and the light comes on. So yeah. Um, it's only a thousand watts. My hair dryer is two thousand watts, so it's a lot stronger. So when I'm coming in to blow, I'm kind of—I don't know where I'm going, and the the paint's starting to fly everywhere before I've even worked out where I'm aiming at. So I thought, what can I get that's only half as strong? Because these little guys—I mean, they're great, but they're not very powerful at all. Probably less powerful than what, when you blow with your mouth. It's less powerful than that. So that's what uh, drew me to try and find something else. And I just went and got that this morning and then came and... It was only $25. Like it wasn't hugely expensive from Kmart. Got a little bit of a an area there where it's bunched back up again. But hopefully... I'm going to leave it because hopefully it's enough. Not not so much that you know it it'll it won't move when I spin. These are great. These turntables you can hang on to it under here. Looks like I've got a red blob in the middle. From what I can see, have I covered it? Oh my gosh, that was fast. That was pretty fast. I haven't covered the corner here though. It's a problem, isn't it? The rest of it's done, but not down there. Let's just see if we can take the weight of it, of the paint down that way just a bit. The middle's really good. See how it's not bunched up? So if you watched the last video, you will have noticed that my middle was really bunched up because I could not spin the middle out anymore. It just wouldn't spin. Um, you know, the outside was flying off, but the middle wasn't moving. That's because of the centrifugal force. It, it pushes the outside off and the middle kind of just stays where it is. But that's the difference in um, having too much paint and having just enough paint. Although I'm having trouble getting down here. I might have to... Hopefully it won't fall off. Hopefully my tile won't fall off because I do want to get over to that corner. 
I'd have to actually take the tile off and, and tilt it the old fashioned way, hey? A little bit more. So I've actually got four corners. See how it's starting to go wobbly now? There might be something in there, I don't, I don't know. So I've got these four corners now that I need to push paint off. So I guess the downside of having not as much paint, I haven't flung the paint over the corners, but it's not so bunchy in the middle. All right, let's go. See if I can get those corners off. I don't like what's happening in that middle bit. That, I don't know what, don't know what that is. Maybe there's like a blob in there. Could be something. Could be a blob of, of the house paint that's kind of got a bit stuck in there because it's just, it's just not right. Which is a real shame if it is something in there because it's right in the middle. It is, look, it's a bit of skin or something. Yeah spoiled it okay um, let's go again over the top so getting closer hey actually maybe we should get rid of that paint because um, if it's got blobs in it I don't want it in my on my tile so that was a shame wasn't it so I guess the moral of that story Make sure that you've got any little blobs out before you start. There's not much left in here. Another container that's got a bit more paint in it. They're all pretty much all pretty empty at the moment. I need to refill them. I'll do the same thing. I won't put too much paint on. Because that was really quite pretty, wasn't it? Until it all went south. I'm only going to have enough paint to do one more, this one, and then I'm have to mix up some more paint. in the same order again because I really like the end result of these. Mm, no. I'm going to put some purple matter on top but I won't. I'll leave it the way it was. Now whatever colours under your white is really going to take over so try not to have too much under the white. And the white, I'm going to try and cover that whole gold area there so I've got enough. Although it's just spreading. <laughs> I want to have enough white to actually push over the whole lot. go with that one. Mm. See, too much paint. Too much paint. It's all it's just all moving around on there. Um, I'm just gonna spin it straight away. Rather than wait for it to come back into the middle. I've ever waited, not waited for it to come back in the middle. I guess if you're gonna, 
I used to wait because I wanted it to come back in the middle before I started tilting, but I don't tilt anymore, I spin. So, learn something again. Okay. Well, what do you think of that one? That was pretty quick, wasn't it? One little spin and I'm done skis. All right, now, we're going to leave. Oh, mm, I want to spin again. Mm, no, I don't think so. Do I? Do I? No. So if you spun again, that gold would really spread out and you'd lose a lot of your colour on the outside. Over here, it got really delicate lacing over that gold. And I think that's really pretty. And the white's not bunched up. I'll pick up the one from earlier today and hopefully it won't drip on this one and I'll I'll show you the difference. I think this one's... Look at the middle. So aim your eye at the middle. See it's all scrunched up? And there you can actually see lacing in the middle. It's not scrunched up. Scrunched up? Not scrunched up. A little bit wobbly, going a little bit wobbly in the middle there. So that's, that's the difference anyway, I guess, of having a lot of paint and not having a lot of paint. Now, how am I going to get this up? That's so pretty. Look at that. It's just gone all over my aluminium foil there. It's such a shame to move it. All right. Uh, what can I use? Maybe this, my palette knife. I am tempted to go again, though, with this spin, you know. Maybe because I've got a lot of gold in that bottom corner there that I don't really want. Should we try it again? Oh, half a spin. See what happens. Don't know that it's done a lot. I still haven't got a blob in this one this time. That was awful, that big blob. So yeah, make sure you've got no blobs in it before you start. Otherwise the paint on the top will get stuck on your blobs and, and it just won't go anywhere. So what do you think of my new little dude? He does a good job, hey? Um, now let's lift you up ever so carefully. Here we go. Now you can see her in all her glory. Let's wipe around there. So it's got a little bit more pink happening on the one side there. You know, obviously um, red and white make pink, but I don't think that's a problem at all. I think it's quite nice. We've got that pinky, darker, lighter area there, and then up here we've got this more dramatic dark area, and then over here we've got the gold. So. It's kind of, I think it's nicely balanced. What do you think? Pretty, pretty. Where am I going to put you? Um, good question. Let me make some room. I need to put him down somewhere. Put him down next to the one I did this morning. And I'll put... Okay, so this one here was my, oh, you probably can't see. That one there was the one I did first up. Loved it. And of course I didn't video it. And of course I can't replicate it exactly. By the looks of it, this one that I just did now has got a bit more gold on it. They are very similar. They've both got the pink showing through. So those two will make a lovely little twinsy set. Hey really pretty i'm going to put them down here and then i will just take off my gloves and i will bring you in for a, a close-up of them it's always the way you know i think oh, i'm just going to do a quick little test of colors i don't need to video it and you know it's the best that i do <laughs> all right so the one i just did is this one. Oops. 
cover the camera, silly woman. So that's it there, the one I just did. And then that was the practice one that I did earlier. A little bit more pink shining through. So these two, as I said, make a nice little twinsy set. The two there from my previous video, they've got more red in. Now that's because both of these had more paint. Um, so they, I didn't have very much white showing because there was so much coloured paint over the top. So they are much, much redder. That one had too much paint in the middle. See how it's all squished in? So I like them both. So those two have got more red in them, same colours, but more paint so the white didn't mix as much. And then these two, you can see a little bit more of the, um, the purple matter, I guess, mixing with the white, giving that little bit of a pink tone. Righto, so that's them. Hope you enjoyed watching those four, well three anyway, I didn't film the first one. And um, yeah, I think I'm probably done with that colour scheme for now. I'll move on to something else but they were so much fun love them okay i'll see you real soon for the next one bye for now